So I decided to go ahead and have a flea market stand. So I moved over to Meadowview Antiques, which actually is right outside of Campbelltown. It's now no longer in business, but it was there for a long, long time. And I was one of the first people to actually be in there. Um, so I was there in the late 80s. I'm not sure of the exact dates anymore, because you know, you never keep track of things when they're happening. You look back at it later on and you think like, wow, I survived that. Um, but you don't know when you did it. Um, so, but uh, I started selling books there on a Sunday, actually being there myself, because uh, the actual antique, it was a co-op, so it was open seven days a week. And I would sell stuff all during the week that was, you know, back issues, bags, and everything else. But I only had my new books out on Sundays when I was actually there. Um, and so I started getting the following. Uh, so like I said earlier, I had people who came in like, uh, you know, Robert and Grant and, uh, and Tom Wagner, who eventually, you know, had the store down in, in Lebanon. Um, well, what happened is Tom opened up the store in Lebanon, uh, even though I had been selling books longer already, he, uh, he beat me to that. And so, of course, I couldn't be uh, one-upped. So it was time for me to have my own store. So I opened up um, a store here in the evenings. I was working at Almond's Paint Store uh, during the daytime, got off, I think, at 4.30. At 5 o'clock, I would go ahead and, uh, and come down here. Uh, I think it was like maybe Tuesday through Saturday in the evenings and work from like 5 until 9. And, and my, uh, my wife, Annette, was okay with that. I'm sure she wasn't wild about it, but she was okay. And, uh, and, and really, a lot of success early on was because she helped me um, uh, do things, and she went along with my ideas. So I would work down there, and eventually it got to the point where um, uh, I was making pretty decent money in the evenings. Um, well, we found out that Annette was pregnant with Brandy, um, and uh, so when we had Brandy, Annette convinced me that um, I should stay home. And, and she was probably right, I probably should stay home. So uh, what I did is I already had standing orders that were created at my first shop. My first shop was at 48 West Main Street. If you drive down Main Street here in Palmyra now and you see it, you're gonna laugh because we used to refer to it as a bowling alley. Um, the front of it is probably like maybe seven foot wide and the back of it is like three foot wide. Uh, and it goes, you know, tapers back uh, maybe like 25 feet. So it was, it was a real, it was, it was an interesting little shop. Um, so that was my very first shop, and, and I had people who I had standing orders there. So when um, I decided I would go ahead and close up because Brandy was born, um, what we did is we did mail order. So we still had the previews. At the time, they weren't called previews. Uh, we had a different uh, distributor, um, so they were called Advanced Comics. So I had about maybe like 10 or 15 people who actually chose to go ahead and do advanced comics with me and I would go ahead and get their orders together and once a month I would either mail them out or I'd just drop them off at their house because it was everybody was pretty local. Um, well after a year or so of this um, Annette realized that um, I really missed it and she said go ahead and open up the store again. So what I did is I had been originally at 48 West Main uh, in, our, in, you know, in the bowling alley. Um, what we did is we actually moved uh, then to uh, 44, uh, you know what, it's the other way around. Um, actually, I was at um, 44 and we went to 48. So I went to 48 West Main as my first location that was a, de a decent sized location. And actually, I've been in business as a store now uh, from that point on um, with no breaks. You know, like I said, we had a break for about a year when Brandy was first born. But anyway, so those people that used to be standing orders uh, and they were getting stuff mail order all came back into the store. So originally, you know, those, that was my base. So Tom still had his store down in, in uh, Lebanon City called The Comic Stop, and I actually had my store. And at the time, I, had, I was calling it Comics for Collectors of All Ages. And it wasn't until we actually moved into this new location that, w that was bigger that we actually, we, called, we, we actually changed our name to Comics and Paperbacks Plus. And the reason we did that is because uh, I wanted Annette to be involved in the business, and, uh, and, uh, and, and she went along with it. That's what it came down to. And so we started carrying paperback books. And so we went out and we bought some shelving for paperback books and we started carrying um, mysteries and romances and a few other categories, but mostly mysteries and romances. 